Hello everyone, this is Gwendy from NS2D Studios and I'm here to provide you with a rudimentary and very simple tutorial on how to do a VTuber lean. Now before we start, I do have to preface by saying that I have an RTX and that may might make all the difference so because I've already tried it with the other face tracking options and it does not work as well as uh, the ones with an NVIDIA RTX uh, face tracker so just bear that in mind before anything else so now we're going to start with the tutorial so here we have uh, my model uh, this particular model does not have yet the uh, leaning option which is a new parameter that we need to add so this is only a half body model just to um yeah just to keep everything simple so you might have a more complicated model than this one uh, so uh, this one is just um, a simple tutorial anyway we're gonna go ahead and start with making a new folder there are three parameters that we need to make and it is the position parameter so the first parameter we're gonna make is position X and I'm just gonna copy that and paste that to the ID parameter ID next we have position Y again I'm copy and pasting that to the parameter ID and finally we have position Z so let me just uh, change that Okay, I start by making sure that I have warp deformers separately and also together. So let me see if I can explain myself properly here. So X is moving your character left to right. And this is going to be for the entire body, by the way, the, the entire body. And then position Y is up and down. And then position Z is the lean forward and backward. So let's start with position X. Uh, let me just uh, check here. So this is like the whole body. Uh, if you can see here, yeah, it, this is definitely like the, the warp deformer for the whole body. So let me just add three keyframes there. Position X for this section is going to be moving towards um, our left. So let me just select that. And then I'm gonna end it in the hip area. This might be wrong though. Okay, so we're gonna try it. Okay, yeah, that's correct. So we're gonna move it right here just a little bit. And then to make things easier for us, um, let me just move that some more. To make things easier for us, we are going to go ahead and uh, just uh, reflect. So that way it'll just be like that. So that's position X. And then now we move on to position Y. Uh, I think I'll choose like the same selection of the warp deformer for the body. We're gonna add three keyframes again. And position Y. So this is gonna be, uh, we're gonna go down. I'm just gonna like, let me see if I can lower this, okay like that just lower it a bit and then for the upwards motion just drag it up just like so so if we uh, move that back and forth it's like that okay, so now we're in the most exciting part and that's position Z the body lean forward and backward for this one we're gonna need two parameters um, I mean two deformers one for the head and another one for the body to make sure that there are no conflicts is it's better if you have um, it's better if you have a uh, new deformer specifically for these ones so I'm just gonna go ahead and add that so like uh, position Z head deformer and then for the body Position Z bod eight. So we're at position Z right now. We are going to start with the head. 
So we are now adding three keyframes, the one for position Z head. We're going to add that. And then the negative part is the part where you lean forward. And the positive part is the one where you lean backwards. I don't know why it's, it's like that, but it works that way. So again, uh, backward, forward, leaning forwards is the negative and leaning backwards is the positive part of the keyframes. So position Z, we are going to go ahead and uh, change the head first. When you're leaning forward, you are, when you're leaning forward rather, your head is going to get bigger and your body's going to get smaller. So that's the head now and then we're going to make it smaller for when we lean backwards, just like that. So that's for the head. And then we are now going to proceed with the body. This is going to be a bit tricky. So add the three keyframes. And then for this one, we need the body to tilt forward as well. So we are going to select a certain area, usually up until the bust area. And then we're just going to make that a bit larger over here. Just like so. And then this bottom part, you'd want to make that a bit smaller. You can go ahead and select that area as well. And then just uh, do that to make it smaller. So now it's uh, starting to lean forward. I know that there's an issue with that model, but don't mind that. You can just go ahead and fix it. Uh, yeah, you can fix it however you need to fix it, but I'm not going to fix this. I'm just going to show you guys how to lean forwards and backwards. Anyway, uh, for the backwards, okay, we already have the head uh, turning smaller. So now it's time for the body to be tilt to tilt. So we're going to select first this area below the bust. And then we are going to make it a bit larger than the rest of the body. Just like so. And then next we're going to select the area from the bust up. And we're just going to make that a bit smaller. Just like so. So now this is how it's going to look like. Again, don't mind this area. I can actually just go ahead and make some corrections with that one. Should I so wish? So just like that. So now we have a lean forwards and backwards. And this one, the position X and position Y will be important later on once we head to VTube Studio. So let's go ahead and check with the physics settings. If everything is right as rain and then we are gonna go to preview settings of the cursor and right now position X Y and Z are unset so set position X to left mouse X set position Y to left mouse Y and set position Z and set position Z to left mouse X just hit OK and now let's see if it leans okay so we're seeing some leaning forwards and backwards already but we won't be able to appreciate it fully once uh, until it's in vtube studio so yeah we're seeing that already you don't need to do anything with the physics for that we just need to change some settings in vtube studio so i'm also going to show you guys um this is the actual model that i use so it's more subtle than what I did for uh, the sample that the sample earlier. So there we go. So this one is um, much cleaner than the other one, and it's what I am gonna use for the um, for VTube Studio. So uh, yeah, let's head on back to VTube Studio. Okay, you guys. So now it's time for me to change the settings so that way um 
you're going to be able to do this lean okay it's just scrolling up this is uh in this section i forgot the settings <laughs> the physics settings rather so what you're gonna need to do let me just uh okay i'm, I'm not gonna add it right now but these position you can see this position x position y and position z these are not included in um, the automatic uh physics part of this physics settings you actually have to add this and to add this just click on this plus sign and then just uh, name the parameters here here properly so uh with position x you need to input the face position x for that and the output to position x you can uh, go pause this video later on just to uh, copy and paste the settings but smoothing i usually have it at five and then in and out 15 and negative 15 max 30 negative 30 and then with position y you have face angle y um i i just experimented a lot and this seems to work the best and also output is position y uh, and then you just go ahead and copy these settings for position Z it's important to have the face position Z for input and output position Z so these are my settings um, you have just have to go ahead and work it out yourself because it depends on the model on how it will properly work so after inputting these settings on the model I can go ahead and lean forward and then just roll my head as well as I do this and as I mentioned earlier I do have an RTX um, so it's Nvidia broadcast for tracking quality so um, that may have made a full difference as well with how I move I already tried again I already tried with the other tracking settings especially the uh, the VTube studio uh, default tracking it doesn't really work as well as uh, when you have an RTX so anyway I hope this tutorial has helped you guys in the leaning forwards and backwards of your VTuber model and this has been Gwendy of NSTudy Studios <laughs>